Ever since Moses and Trisha got cancelled, fans of Trisha believe Moses is purposefully trying to ruin her life, but she's unaware of this because of how in love she is. Former texts between Moses and his ex that were leaked online proved that he only saw Trisha as a money bag, and now he's securing that bag by getting married to her. Fans are seriously concerned. There's red flags everywhere, but Trisha is so blinded by love that she can't see what Moses is really getting up to. That's where her fans have come in and have started doing the investigating, breaking down all their live streams, all their TikToks, all the evidence, and now there's a popular Reddit thread that's going viral, which gives a more in-depth analysis of the current situation. It reads, is Moses purposefully ruining Trisha's life? I know that most of you are aware of this, but the more I think about how absurd Moses is, the more it boggles my mind. He has brought out the absolute worst side of Trisha. Before Moses, she usually had someone in her life trying to steer her in the right direction. Jason was trying to make her live a healthier life and be more smart with her finances. Her sister was calling out her lies here and there. They don't seem to hang out as much anymore. Shane was calling out her lies and giving her the side eye when she was exaggerating. Sean was keeping her active with the dancing. Ethan tried to explain to her that she shouldn't troll marginalised groups and used to question her fake stories. Now she's left with Moses, the worst yes man and the worst enabler. Trisha is appropriating religions and cultures. Moses, you're doing great, sweetie. Trisha is eating all the junk food in the world and continuously gaining weight. Moses, you're doing great, sweetie. Trisha is not taking care of her health issues like the lump in her neck. Moses, you're doing great, sweetie. Trisha is not going to therapy and trying to manifest all her problems away. Moses, you're doing great, sweetie. Trisha has a big shopping problem and is in financial trouble. Moses, you're doing great, sweetie. If my partner had these issues going on, I would be honest with them and try to help them, not sit and watch their downfall. I'm terrified and also curious to see what his end goal is with her. There is just no way he's truly in love with that this manic, lying, disrespectful b- Some of you are saying that Moses is her karma, that he's the reason her life is going downhill, and I think you're right. What do you think? Is it all a part of his plan, or is he just stupid and spineless? Oh, the Reddit user definitely made some points. A lot of Trisha's former fans are saying she deserves this karma, but others don't think she deserves any of this. One thing we all know for sure is that this relationship won't last. The marriage will be short-lived, and Trisha will no doubt blame Moses for her getting cancelled when they do end up splitting up. Someone responded to the thread saying, Trisha is ruining Trisha's life. It's all fine and well to dislike slash critique Moses, but I'm seeing more and more of these posts where Moses is getting blamed for Trisha's career tanking or her failing. He's enabling it, but he's not creating it. Trisha would love for Moses to get blamed for her failures, which is why it's important to hold her accountable for them. Don't give her an out if their relationship fails so that she can say Moses made her that way. Trisha's life is Trisha's responsibility, not the responsibility of anyone she's with. And personally, I agree with this. Moses can't be fully to blame for Trisha getting cancelled and for her downfall. She's her own person. She defended him after those allegations came out. She's definitely responsible for everything she's done. Moses is for sure a bad influence though, and has bad intentions. Another user said something that was quite spot on. I think he's a lazy bum who wants constant hedonistic simulation. So he enables Trisha to live like a with him, devoid of actual goals and plans. At first I thought he was calculated and conniving. Now I think he's a lazy bum who doesn't take any of his relationships seriously and doesn't care about how he sucks the inspiration out of the people he surrounds himself with. I bet his ex has divorced him because he was starting to feel like a leech who just hung around the house and didn't do shit or talk about anything but his own vague worldview and Dunning-Kruger complex. He doesn't seem to have anything going for him and it seems like he gives you what he starts or finishes something and thinks it's all he has to do. He doesn't seem to want to constantly be working so he latches on to Trisha for daily stimulation With that being said, I don't think he hates her and I don't think he loves her. I think he doesn't give a shit and she's pretty much left to her own devices. He's literally as delusional as her and even more of a loser. Why would he be the one to get her on track? He may be her partner, but he's not a good one. Also, Trisha is a pathological 
liar. I've heard her old podcast that she's appeared on as a guest and noticed how everything that came out of her mouth was a genuine lie. She lied the whole time on Tiger Belly. She lied the whole time on Frenemies and H3, etc. I bet she lies about her whole life to Moses too, and he probably emits a good portion of his to her as well. Yes, he's contributing to her spiral. Is it intentional? Nah, I don't think he cares enough. Now, unlike the attention Trisha gave her other exes, she's not as obsessed with Moses or as in love with him as fans can literally see the lack of chemistry in their relationship through vlogs. For example, Moses likes to pretend he's Trisha's assistant and gets annoyed if he has to do something for her outside of normal business hours. It's 5.38. I only work from 9 to 5. <laughs> Trisha recently went on her members only live stream and discussed how and what she would be saying in her vows to Moses on their big day. Basically she just said she was winging it. Needless to say it sounded like she didn't give a crap nor was she planning to put much thought into it. People commented if it was Jason Nash she would have wrote a novel, bedazzled and shit and put it up for everyone to see. Imagine spending that much money on your wedding and then not putting any thought into your vows. The vows are literally the most important part of the whole damn wedding. They're literally the whole point. If this doesn't tell anyone she wants a wedding and not a marriage, I don't know what will. Trisha has spent over 100k on her big day, so it's pretty clear what's more important to her. The big flash wedding over the real meaning behind having one. Ethan Klein's obsession with Trisha is just getting out of hand. I think it's a money thing. I think every time they bring up her name on the podcast, they know it's going to get a reaction from fans or from her, so it's kind of like a clickbait thing. But people are like, just get over her already. Personally, I think Ethan and Hila are pissed because she tore their family apart, so they're probably not going to stop talking about her anytime soon. But let's not forget, Trisha has made ex-boyfriends and ex-friends' lives a living hell when they split ways or stop being friends with her. So for her to be all upset Ethan keeps talking about her is kind of rich coming from her. TikToker contradictions of Trish dug up Trisha's past and put her in her place. Fees are saying this is her karma. I just was like, anything to make to just ask you just to stop because it is such a big fan base and it's full of hatred and it's really it's really dark hatred it's so scary that the harassment is so scary i watched a show and you were f***ing fake after we have these conversations i will go on youtube and i will f***ing talk about you so much and say how f***ing an asshole you are and i've, I've watched this back just know that i have a voice on YouTube. And guess what? Your Instagram will have to be shut down. Every boyfriend I've ever had has had to shut their Instagram down from the hate comments. Every single one of them. You know, everyone's wondering why I've stayed off social media. The reason why is because the past two months has been hell. All the hate messages and the bashing. When none of you even know who I am. I've always been there for Trisha Paytas from day one. I've been there through everything. The ups and downs with blasting our relationship online. So yeah, this is definitely proof that she's refused to stop in the past if anyone has pissed her off. Trisha Paytas, like you have your own problems. Please stop worrying about mine. Please stop talking about me. You're not a very nice person. You can't say keep my name out of your mouth when your whole career and livelihood is based on social media. It's a bit much to be even, you know, shitting on a six-year-old girl. First of all, I couldn't care less. Like, I couldn't care less. It's so fun. Amy is such an idiot. Amy's a great guy. People were sending him death threats and, like, harassing him. I get death him. threats every day. You put yourself online. Don't be on camera. Don't have your own YouTube channel. She was texting me already planning her video. She was like, well, I'm going to post this video. Like, I wasn't even done with the relationship. This constant loop of, like, wait a minute, but what about this? And it's like seriously so intense, dude. Angry with me on behalf of Trisha, trying to fix me, threatening me, uh, making fun of how I looked. They were talking about how I was a diversity hire at BuzzFeed. This is a person who I considered, you know, family, a close friend, someone I trusted. I really feel like she tried to ruin my life. Please, you guys, stop. It is honestly ruining our family. I, I please need you guys to stop. If someone asks me, I stop. So what are your thoughts on Moses allegedly trying to ruin Trisha's life? Let me know in the comments.